nothing. You listen. Everybody, we're going wide now. It's a wide shot. Oh yeah, man. We're gonna go wide up in this motherfucker. Ah. Hi, how you doing? I am Kevin the Skull Anderson, and this is Scully Goes Why, the only show on my YouTube channel where I give my honest-to-God review on things that I either like or hate. And there's not a whole hell of a lot of things that I hate, but I can tell you now, one of the things that I do like I'm going to be reviewing in this video, as well as something that I hate too. So, just so you know, just, just get a clear cut shot of that. Because you're going to need it. That's right, you're going to need it. And, and one more thing. I don't care. Just get to the bastard video already. Alright, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. You guys want to pay a video game reviewer one quarter of a million dollars to produce a movie featuring him playing a game from 30 years ago on a console that is prehistoric now. I'll tell you what I think of that. <laughs> you guys are fucking idiots. You know that? I have never... Oh my god. You people are fucking retarded. Honestly. Now, here's what gets me. Here's what gets me. You see, this this YouTuber, this very popular YouTuber named AVGN, he's an average vitriolic gaming nerd. I'm assuming that's what AVGN stands for, but I wouldn't know for sure since I don't care enough to watch his channel that much. But but this guy swindled you people out of a quarter of a million dollars to produce a movie that he probably hadn't eaten starting on at the time when he was doing his Kickstarter or whatever, or his GoFundMe. And then he wants to raise another $60,000 to do a review of a game from 30 years ago that some gaming developer, some programmer from the 1980s made, and it's also going to be featuring the programmer who made the game himself, and it's, it's basically just going to be, you know, a glorified YouTube review. It's basically what it is, a glorified web show. That's all it is. Just a glorified web show. Meanwhile, meanwhile, I do all my videos for free. I don't want to make money off of my videos. I don't give a damn about money. I deserve to let you people know that you people deserve to watch my videos for free. And if you want, this is your choice, not mine. Should I start a Patreon, you can pay me a dollar a month to get content that I post to my YouTube channel as well as stuff on my DeviantArt and my Twitter and my Facebook, pretty much all my social media pages, right? You know, my Pinterest feed, you know, stuff, just stuff. All costs you is one dollar. It's not just a phrase that contestants use on the Price is Right anymore, it's also the freaking truth. But again, this is your choice, not mine. I just want to let you have the creative control because you have creative control. You get to play the creative control card. Unlike the people who follow AVGN who don't, who aren't allowed to 
play the creative control card because they're forced to buy into a bunch of fraudulent bullcrap that is generally not worth believing at all. I don't even know why the hell people buy into this. Like, why would anybody want to pay this guy $60,000 for a glorified YouTube video that reviews a game from some 35 years ago? The game is called Cheetah Man, by the way. There is a YouTube compilation video from a guy who I'm not going to name featuring a man named Cedric, also known by a pseudonym Wrestling Jesus, who commented about this, this fundraiser, or really it's a Ponzi scheme is what it is. It's a Ponzi scheme. Not that I know what a Ponzi scheme is, but who gives a shit, right? Nobody's going to care, you know? And now for something that I really like, and something that you're going to like too. Check this shit. Let's talk about my friend Cedric, a.k.a. Wrestling Jesus, a.k.a. Wrestling Christ on Twitter. Not that he has a Twitter anymore because he closed his YouTube account again for like the 17,000th time because he's a wrestling fan for life, like me. I've been a wrestling fan since I was born. But, but Wrestling Jesus, you know, this guy is the most hilarious YouTube wrestling commentator I have ever seen in my freaking life. I mean, this this guy is just so legit, man. Holy crap. This guy is legit. Listen, listen, listen to some of his material. Listen to some of his material. You're never going to believe. Oh, oh, oh. Watch, 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 watch. Huh. <laughs> what the fuck? Dang! <laughs> I mean, you gotta love this guy. This guy is a big ball of fun. Kind of like me, I'm, I'm turning into a big ball of fun too, but except my fun is more fat than fat. Keep in mind, there's a difference between fat with an F and fat with a PH. Fat with a PH means that you live in the right way. Fat with an F means you're not. But I don't need to tell you that, now do I? After all, I don't suck the donkey's dick like all Democrats in Congress ever. I'll get to that in a later video, but as a matter of fact, hell, I don't need to get to that in a later video because I already point that shit out on my other web shows. So you already know that, don't you? So Wrestling Jesus, the YouTube celebrity and personality who's famous for his wrestling commentaries and reviews of shows from the past and present, this guy is a certifiable boss. He goes about stuff like this just right, and I don't need to explain it to you because you've already seen his shit, and it's good shit. It's not the kind of shit that The View points out and shits out of their ass on a daily basis. No, this is good shit. This is too legit to quit kind of shit. This, so, this is so good, you'll literally fall to sleep to this, and then 10 hours later, wake up, and you're like, Ooh, yeah! I'm ready to go! Let's step into the danger zone! Yeah, I mean, by the way, big Randy Savage fan. That's what I am. I like Randy Savage. I think he was a great wrestler. Then, of course, he died a few years ago, and stuff happened, and, and then he was inducted into the Hall of Fame, but whatever, right? Wrestling Jesus, by the way, this guy, Cedric, absolutely killer in his reviews. 
He tells it exactly how it is. No filter, no chill. Savage level. One Google percent. And that's Google with a gall at the end, not a ghoul. Right? Because this isn't Google. This is Google. Big difference. Very, 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 very big difference. By the way, here's what I think of wrestling Jesus. Hey, man! You got it, bro! You absolutely got it! Keep doing what you're doing, because you're absolutely rocking it! That's right, brother and sister. Whoever you people are. I mean, other than that, but I mean, it's just worth pointing out at this point. Not that I should care or anything, but it's just not worth it to care more. By the way, hi, lady. Taking a photograph. How you doing? That's that's the lady over there. See it? See it? See it? Oh, by the way, by the way, here's another thing I like that I'm going to review. Sean's View Entertainment. The man who gets constant flack over his constant stream of CM Punk Returns to Wrestling videos. Honestly, I don't blame the guy, because, because, well, I'm not in the right frame of mind to. I don't think anybody is. But let me, let me just, okay, okay. Here's the thing. Sean's View Entertainment is the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated, brash commentator and reviewer of wrestling and journalist of wrestling news on YouTube. I think he started this whole YouTube wrestling journalism craze before I think anybody else. I think he started this like 2011, 2012. But this guy has 115,000 followers on YouTube. And of course he, he did some pretty sketchy stuff. Like, like that one time where he exposed his CONSENSUAL PENIS! But, uh... I'll let that slide, because that's understandable, because his, his dick was burned in the shower. Um... I think I just went a bit too far. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Sean's View Entertainment posts some really interesting content. And this guy is legit. You just, you gotta, you gotta check this guy out for yourself. Cause this guy is, is, he's totally off the wall when it comes to his reviews. But, he's, he's a bit more toned down than Wrestling Jesus. But, but, but again, this is just my, this is my take on it. So, don't even, don't even try to argue with me because what I'm saying is probably not going to be 100% accurate 100% of the time. And I'll tell you if it's not accurate. But Sean's View Entertainment, this guy is legit at what he does. And 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 this guy, this guy. I'll I'll give you I'll give you another example. I'll give you I'll give you an example. Like like one of his videos cuz he has a very very keen sense of humor and this guy oh oh by the way 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 he posted something on his YouTube a few years back regarding the loss of Ronda Rousey to Beth Correa so yeah I mean not that it matters but you get it well, Ronda Rousey's apparently she won that one, so I was wrong. Okay, I was wrong. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't need to explain myself any further. This this guy explains everything right there in the way that you want him to. And he tells it how it is, too, just like Wrestling Jesus, just like JD from New York. You know, the guy who does this off-the-script podcast? That's another thing I like. Guys like him and and Wrestling Jesus and Sean's View Entertainment. I think that they're the lifeblood of the wrestling community. And especially in terms of fans. I mean, not that wrestling is wrestling anymore. It's been more sports entertainment than wrestling for the last 35 years. But still, I mean... This guy's legit. Check out his stuff. Honest to God. Seriously. Yeah, seriously. And now I'd like to give my honest review on very shite YouTubers. In particular, the Paul brothers, Jake and Logan. You know, those guys are absolute shitbags. I mean, they post videos of themselves discovering a body in a suicide forest in Japan and and they just they think they can get away with everything but they can't because God won't let them what the fuck man god damn you kidding me and this dude and 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 what about what about this guy named waffle pond who along with his brother Steven, post videos of themselves reenacting greatest freakouts ever. Right. And 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 here's the thing, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Everything that this kid does and his brother, they get famous for it. I mean, you know, They get famous for it, for no reason whatsoever, just because it's genuine. Because it's genuine. It's all genuine. By the way, ah! am I famous yet? I shut the remote up my ass. Am I famous yet? You you know, I'm I'm painting. Hey, look, look, I'm painting something with my mom's stolen paintbrushes. Am I famous yet? Fuck off. Gotta be fucking kidding me. What is this? I'll I'll be right back. I gotta go out. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm freaking out. <laughs> you can't get it. Yeah, what about? What about? I'll, I'll take, for instance, you know, I really, really, I don't think I have to explain it any further at this point, because, you know, PewDiePie, I mean, I like, I like the fact that this guy did Happy Wheels commentary videos, but... As, as far as him having the biggest fan base in YouTube's history, he has like, he has enough subscribers to where he can literally actually be the president of his own nation. Like, literally, he's got 70 million followers. I mean, you, you could, you could call this country of his the United States of PewDiePie or PewDiePie Stan or PewDiePie Stan or whatever the hell and he'd still be the president of it every time cuz I mean when you when you're that famous a YouTuber and you've got that big of a fan base it's like you're the president of the United States except you're not Donald Trump everything you do isn't all peachy clean like Donald Trump, because he hasn't done a single thing wrong except maybe two or three things throughout his entire presidency. That's why I voted for him in 2016, because he's the only candidate, then and now, that actually lives up to what he says he's going to do. 
and he makes sure of it every single day and he gets so much shit for it just for being the right guy for the job and doing the right thing because we the people tell we're supposed to tell the government what to do they're not supposed to tell us what to do it's supposed to be the other way around we're supposed to tell them what to do and then you have people like like Fauzi Tube and Joey Salads and Jacob Sartorius and 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 all these other hated YouTubers and clickbaiters who who want to troll you with their endless streams of bullshit on a silver fucking platter. It doesn't work. You understand? It doesn't work ever. Not even in hell. God. It's like I stepped into the fucking twilight zone and all of a sudden I'm Rod Serling's descendant from another planet. What the hell? Good lord. I don't even know how to respond to that. I mean, it just... Mm. Alright, let's just Alright. So Jacob Sartorius. This this guy makes Yeah, he just does <laughs> He does pop music. Not not that it matters or anything, but I mean that's why he uses autotune and I don't. Unless I absolutely have to. So that's why you use auto-tune and I don't. Oh! It's gonna do it. Bye-bye. See you in the next go-round. Later. You can go now. Bye. Si crene si te gusta lo que ves. No es tan difícil. Y solo we quiere un clic. Follow me if you like what you see. It's not that hard, and it only requires one click. Done. Jesus Christ.